All animals are living things. There are many different types of animals. Animals are grouped together based on their parts. Let's take a closer look at these groups and explore the different parts of animals. Look at these adorable puppies. They are mammals. You are a mammal. A mammal is an animal with hair or fur. All mammals also have a backbone. Some animals, like this lion, have long fur. Others, like this okapi, have short fur. Some mammals have patterns on their fur. A mammal's body can feel smooth like a sea lion or prickly like a porcupine. Mammals can have bright colors like this mandrel, or they can blend into their surroundings like this cheetah. Most mammals have legs, but some have wings. Some even have fins. Birds have two legs, two wings, and feathers. Birds also have a beak. Wow! Look at how long and colorful this toucan's beak is. This finch's beak is short. This albatross has long, narrow wings. This owl's wings are short and wide. Ostriches and penguins both have wings but cannot fly. Penguins can swim. Did you know a bird could swim? Look at this parrot's feet. They have long claws. Ducks have webbed feet. Look at how different they are from this jacana's long, skinny feet. Some birds, like peacocks and Gouldian finches, have feathers with bright or bold colors. Some birds do not. Fish are animals that live in water. Fish have gills and fins. Fish gills are interesting. They help fish get oxygen out of the water, just like people get oxygen out of the air. Look at the differences in the gills of these fish. This is a red lionfish. Look at all its fins. Stingrays may not look like a fish, but they are. Stingrays have a wide and round body. Some fish, like this cornet fish, are long and skinny. Look at this bubble-eyed goldfish. This fish has sacs that fill with water under its eyes. Some puffer fish are covered in spines. Have you ever seen an anglerfish? Whoa, look at its sharp, see-through teeth. And look at this. This piece that comes out over its head is part of its backbone, and the tip of it glows. Insects are animals that have three body sections and six legs. Some insects have wings, like butterflies, dragonflies, ladybugs, and bees. Look at the different shapes and colors of their wings. There are many different colors of insects. Look at how colorful this fruit fly is, and this beetle. Look at how this lightning bug's body glows. Insects have all sorts of different shapes. Leaf bugs have flat, round bodies that look like leaves. Walking sticks have thin, long bodies that look like sticks. Reptiles are animals that have dry skin and are covered with scales. Alligators are reptiles. They are large and have four legs and four feet. Snakes are also reptiles, but do not have any legs or feet. Most turtles have webbed feet and a shell on their back. Reptiles can be very colorful. Look at this gecko. This chameleon can change the color of its body. Reptiles can be very small, like this turtle, or very big, like this Komodo dragon. Amphibians are animals that live part of their lives in water 
and part on land. Frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders are all amphibians. Most amphibians have smooth skin that feels wet, sticky, or slimy. Many frogs are bright and colorful. Toads usually have less color. Let's talk about some differences between reptiles and amphibians because sometimes it can be hard to tell them apart. Reptile skin is usually dry and covered in scales. Amphibian skin is usually wet and smooth. Reptiles breathe air. Amphibians can breathe air, or some amphibians can breathe underwater through their gills. Turtles have shells that protect them. Humans make equipment like helmets to protect bicyclists. This mimics a turtle's shell. How else do humans mimic animal parts? Animal parts can be very similar and very different from each other. What's your favorite animal? And what kind of amazing parts does it have?